Well, while some members of the left are doubling down on their woke ideologies, others see the Virginia race as a reckoning for the party. The blue and wrong is just stupid wokeness. All right, you just, don't just look at Virginia and New Jersey. Look at Long Island. Look at Buffalo. Look at Minneapolis. Even look at Seattle, Washington. I mean, just defund the police lunacy to take Abraham Lincoln's name off of schools. I mean, that people see that. And it, 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 it's, it's just really a, have a suppressive effect all across the country. The Democrats, some of these people need to go to a woke detox center or something. <laughs> Well, joining me now is James Vo Snertley. He's at Golden. He's the author of the upcoming book, Rush on the Radio. Welcome. And what's your reaction? Does he have a point there? Uh, James Carville does. I hate to say it, but James Carville, yes, has a point. Wokeness is actually putting Democrats to sleep, their electoral <laughs> chances anyway, across the country, because what you have is a radicalism that can't be hidden from the American people anymore. And you have today, just today, AOC went on a, the launch pad that the reason they lost the election was because they were too moderate. And so she wants more, to which I say, by all means, please go even further to the left and lose more elections and let's see what happens in 2022. So what is the lesson officially for, not just for Democrats, but for Republicans from last night? Well, the lessons for Republicans well, they would be taking the wrong lesson away, by the way, as I've heard some of the pundits say that this is proof that they should distance from Trump. That was the Trump base that came out, and be very clear about that. So the second lesson that they should take is to be optimistic, be a happy warrior. If you look at what happened in Virginia especially, you just had the lieutenant governor on. Very optimistic, very positive thinking. The governor is the same way. He talked about the promise that Virginia had for their children. He talked about educating, making Virginia a place where people wanted to live. He never gave into the negativism coming from the intellectually lazy left who can only engage in name calling. What he did was offer an optimistic viewpoint for the people of Virginia, and it resonated. He also talked about the concerns of parents, and these are real concerns, and that resonated. What did Obama do when he came to town? What did Joe Biden do? They demonized parents. It didn't work. That's stay right. optimistic and stay on course, and you will win elections.